Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Today I'm here with a dream. In this dream, um, this is a nostalgic dream again, okay y'all. I was living with um, my friends. So it felt like I was a teenager and I was off on spring break or like, um, that's what it reminded me of, spring break or summer break. And I'm hanging out at my um, friend's house and it's like a bunch of us, like a bunch of us girls hanging out, cooking in the kitchen, cleaning up after ourselves, having a little, uh, what, it, what is it called? Sleepover vibe in the living room, watching movies and all that kind of stuff going on um, while her mom is out at work. The scripture comes from Mark 16. And 12, afterward, Jesus appeared in a different form to two of them while they were walking in the country. These returned and reported it to the rest, but they did not believe them either. Later, Jesus appeared to the eleven as they were eating. He rebuked them for their lack of faith and their stubborn refusal to believe those who had seen him before, after he had risen. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation whoever believes and is baptized will be saved but whoever does not believe will be condemned and these signs will accompany those who believe in my name they will drive out demons they will speak in new tongues they will pick up snakes with their hands and when they drink deadly poison it will not hurt them at all they will place their hands on sick people and they will get well okay this is one of my favorite scriptures, like low-key. Um, Mark 16 and uh, 15. It's one of my favorite. 15 through 18. But um, I just feel like... So, in situations where um, someone may be a little nervous or a little scared, um, regardless if this is like a situation where someone is scared that... Um, they will end up in a like I don't like going over this scripture. I just feel like for someone, um, you feel like God is sending you into like maybe social groups. Maybe you're being sent to social groups, and you have been through situations where someone has tried to poison you, or you were trying to, um, you had to heal someone, or other situations. I'm thinking about um situation where. Had I not said anything, someone, something really bad could have happened to someone. And um, it was a bunch of girls hanging out and, you know, things just, you know, got out of hand. But uh, gladly, nobody was hurt and nothing bad happened. And I just feel like um, God is saying that sometimes you have to be careful, um, especially if you are in your teenage years, okay, because you have to be careful of so many things. There are so many things that can happen at sleepovers. There are so many things that can happen um, in girl groups in general. I like to omit myself out, to be honest, because I just do not like gossip and drama, and I, I don't like, like, I would prefer to have no friends at all then have to be wondering in the back of my mind if my friend really like me or not are we really friends or are we like do you not like me because sometimes girls women can be so it's, it's just so I, I don't even know how to explain it like i i don't i don't want nobody that's smiling in my face but in a deep in their heart they have hate for me I don't want nobody that's acting like we cool and like we friends, but they trying to get with my man. I don't want nobody that's acting like um, we besties, but behind my back, they talking down on me and they acting like I'm their worst enemy. Like, <laughs> I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. But I feel like for someone, there may very well be some kind of plot, some kind of plan to... Um, Put something in some kind of food or some kind of drink because in this dream we were cooking together and then we sat down and we were watching like a movie watching TV and um, that was basically it but nobody was acting funny so I feel like this is gonna be a situation for somebody where it's gonna be very hard for you to tell um, who you can and cannot trust in that circle in that situation 
because they're not going to treat you like you're an enemy. They're going to treat you like you're a friend and <laughs> they're going to give you something that and, and it, they'll give it to you in such a way that you'll be trusting of it. But it's really going to be something bad for you. However, God is saying, God says, God says, <sighs> okay. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. God is saying that um, this will not come to hurt you. Whatever this is, it is not like what it is meant to do to you. It won't pass. Like, um, it won't it won't cause you any harm like um it won't come to pass the the plot whatever plan this is it, it won't come to pass because god is going to ensure that you are okay um and it could even be a situation where you're just nervous or you're just scared and god is saying he got you but in reality um it, it won't come to pass, okay? And this is coming from somebody, like, I, I've been through it, okay? I have been through it where people try to put something in my drink, try to put something in my food, trying to take me out of here. And for some reason, you, I'm still sitting right here. That's why, I like, I'm not playing with y'all when I say that I am glorifying God for just me still being here to see myself turn 32, like, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. So many people tried to take me up out of here. So many times I didn't came this close, like, very, very close. Very, 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 very close. Like, y'all don't even understand. And God still saved me. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. And I glorify God that he is still allowing me to glorify his name, that he's even still allowing me to have time to, you know, relay his messages to his children. It's like such a blessing, y'all. And um, I know this situation could be a scary situation. And you know what? I uh, Just like I just said, um, if all else fails, you can always just omit yourself out because you ain't got to go nowhere that you don't want to go. You don't have to be around anybody you don't want to be around. And in reality, I think, um, even in this situation, like I said, whatever is, uh, meant to cause you harm, it won't come to pass. However, I feel like the most painful part is not exactly even like this stuff, whatever it is that you would eat or drink, that's not even the most painful part of this situation. The most painful part is that people that you thought were your friends are the ones trying to give this stuff to you. People that are going to be smiling in your face. This is going to be some people that are going to be acting as, the, as though they are cheerful about you. They care about you. They love you. That are going to be trying to pass something to you to cause you harm. God is saying this, the heartbreak that is going to come from this is going to cause a lot of pain. And as someone who has went through somebody trying to set me up, I feel like that is why God is saying you would do better omitting yourself out and just being seen as the big bad Grinch than having to deal with being the person that finds out people that they love and care for want to take them out of here. Um, but the choice is up to you because God said um, no evil shall touch you. No, the, 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 it will not touch you. It will not cause you harm. And that's the message. Like, that's what God is saying. God is saying his advice would be to just omit yourself out. However, if you carry on with it, you, the most pain that you'll be in, the most that it'll hurt you, it's not going to hurt you at like physically. It's not going to hurt you by actually working the way that they thought it would. It's going to hurt you because you're going to realize that people that you trusted tried to put something on you. <clears throat> And I, I'm I'm be, I'm thinking about it in a way like for somebody you're gonna see them do it, like God is going to allow you to see somebody putting something in your food. God is gonna allow you to see somebody trying to put something in your drink. And this has happened to me before. I'm watching like <laughs> they 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 think it ain't slick, and I'm literally watching them put something in my stuff. Like you, all you, all you think, all you, all you, you thought you got me. You, you thought, you thought, you thought, and I just feel like God is saying like, 
you just completely <laughs> leaving yourself out of the equation would be better off than you putting yourself in a situation. Um, and it is so sad because um, women, women like my age want friendships, but every time um, I have been in a situation or almost every single time being in a situation where I'm trying to make friends or where I'm joining a new group or where I'm in a group or like I have a group of friends, it's just always some kind of mess. It's always some kind of drama. And because of that, I kind of just leave myself on the outskirts. Okay. It's, it's like, I, I just, I don't have time. Okay. I, I can love you from a distance. I can love you and not be hanging out every single day and we going here and we going there every single day. I'm good on that. And that's the message. Okay. That's the message. That's the message. That's the message. Thank you guys for joining. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Deuces.